So I am doing this video in like the tall format because we are going to wrap a mallet. And so what you need is yarn needles, yarn darners, uh, yarn needles. And I think that's gonna be a backward on there, but anyway, um, scissors. Some nice sharp ones would be good. And I have a little small, small sharp ones would be good. Um, yes, a thimble, thimble. And of course, yarn. And you can use a two ply or a four ply. This I believe is is two ply. No, this is three. Wow, three. But it's but it's very very um, thin. It just depends on what kind of sound you want. So this one's pretty thin. It's going to be um, a pretty hard sound, unless I wrap it a thousand wraps. Then it's going to be soft, you know. Um, and of course, a naked mallet. Naked. This is one I've just had forever. It says Haley on it. I don't know why. I have mallets from many, 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 many moons ago. Anyway, so first thing you do, um, you want to have something to set the mallet on. So if you're sitting down, I, I don't know, hold it between your knees and put it on the couch or a chair or whatever. I'm just, I'm standing at my drum pad. So just putting it on the pad. And first thing you do, yes, you take the naked mallet and we're going to take the yarn and wrap it around the shoulder of the mallet. And I am going to tie a knot and I'll show you. So bringing the, the yarn around the shoulder or the body of the mallet, just under the mallet head, and then tying a, a knot. So just like that. Bing, bing, bing. And then I am going to cut the tail off, not too close uh, to the body of the mallet, but cut it off. And you'll see what I mean in a little bit, just like about center of the mallet there. Boom. We don't need that part. So basically you just, um, yep, wrap it around the mallet and tie it in a knot so it's stabilized. Now, <laughs> the fun starts. Um, stabilize the mallet on something. I'm on a drum pad here, just standing. And first thing I'm gonna do is I use my left hand to rotate the mallet. The mallet's going to rotate clockwise and I use my right hand to actually wrap the mallet. So I'll just lift it up <clears throat> a bit so you can see. And this is where this gets really fun. So first thing I'm gonna do is wrap away from me. I'm gonna wrap away from myself the entire time. So holding the mallet in my left hand, right hand, I'm gonna start the wrap. And what we wanna do is start the wrap to the left of the center of the mallet. This mallet's kind of cool because you can kind of see a circle there. I don't know if you can see that. See that little circle? Not every mallet has that but this one does and it makes it a little easier to wrap. So in the beginning, I'm gonna start the wrap to the, yep, see what it does? I use my uh, index finger to, to hold it in place because the mallet head is kind of slippery. So start the wrap to the left of that circle. Then I'm gonna rotate the mallet. Holy cow, I lied before. It's actually counterclockwise. Shh, it's counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, but I'm going to wrap clockwise. So yeah, so let's do it again. First wrap, I'm going to put my index finger there, index finger there to hold that there. Boom. Bring it around, around the base. Up again, same to the left of the circle. Rotate the mallet counterclockwise. Again, to the left of the circle, rotate the mallet counterclockwise. Left again, counterclockwise. Left again, counterclockwise. To the left of the circle again, counterclockwise. To the left of the circle again. Notice I'm using my index finger to hold the, uh, the latest wrap I did. And again, to the left of the circle, rotate the mallet counterclockwise and here we go. 
So that's the beginning of it. That's what your mallet should look like. This isn't perfect, but it should look like a star. And then from there, we just keep going. So the most important part is you want to stay to the, actually the way we're wrapping to the left of the inner circle. And from here, what we're doing is just filling in the gaps, however you want it as even as possible. Filling in the gaps, filling in the gaps. There's a big gap there, I wanna fill that in to the left of the circle. There's a gap there, I wanna fill that in. There's a gap here. There's a gap there, see that? See that gap? Boom, left of the circle. And there's a gap there, rotating, uh -huh. rotating, using the index finger, keep that there, rotating, boom, same, same, same. So this is how you do it. We're just filling in the gaps from here. And then, yeah, so before you start, you want to pull enough yarn out of this thing so it doesn't get all tight and then you... Yeah, lose what you just did. So I usually have the yarn on the floor and just yank it um, out of out of itself as I go. Anyway, so yeah, so that's the beginning. I'm gonna break this video up so it's not incredibly long. So that's the beginning of the mallet wrap. Not too bad. It's pretty easy. So and to be continued later on. Oh, and when you stop, I'll show you how to continue later on. Um, just take the yarn and twist it around the body of mallet of the mallet. Ding 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 ding. Twist 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 twist. That way, your entire mallet doesn't come unraveled when you go walk away to you know get some water or something like that. Wrap that around there. Wrap it around enough time so you know doesn't go anywhere. Then. Now I can lay it down and then it'll just hold its shape and I'll come back to it later. All right. Yeah. Mallet wrapping 101. So I'm just going to lay this down and teach a lesson and then we'll finish the video later. Thanks.